This is going to be tight, 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 tight. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, guess what? I'm at work and I get this email from THQ and they say, Steve, Captain Drone, can you make a video about this new product that just came out? This is the Drone Champions League. It's actually a video game simulator for people who fly drones. And I said, I'm away on business for a few days, but when I get back, I'll make a quick video on this here product. Now, full disclosure, I'm holding the product, which is for the PS4, although it comes for the Xbox and for PC, but this here, I had already bought it. I ordered this off of Amazon two weeks ago. It arrived yesterday and uh, I never tried it, but I tried it quickly today when I got home. I played it for about an hour to check it out and make this review because everybody wants this review out. So uh, I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. First off, for 11 of you watching this right now, you're gonna be extremely happy because THQ, Thank you, THQ. What they've done is they said, Steve, if you make this video, then uh, we'll give you something in return. And I said, I don't want any money because it's a hobby channel. All I want is uh, some keys so that I can give them out and other people can have access to the game without having to go buy it like I did. So at the end of this video, I'm going to explain how I'm going to give out 11 keys that are going to give you access to this game. And I'm also going to let you know that below this here video in the description are all the links to this product, everything you need to know. There's even tutorials. I found tutorials after I finished the game and figured it out for myself. There's tutorials to teach you how to fly fly acro mode or say you just have a PlayStation 4 like I have how to teach you how to fly on the PlayStation or the Xbox or a PC or how to connect your transmitter your radio for FPV if you want to use that to your PC and go from there so everything's on their website so what is exactly the drone champions league well if you live under a rock you might not know what it is but if you have cable or you have access to the internet and you love drones, you've probably watched this. Hundreds of thousands of people watch this. This is where a bunch of guys get together in a big stadium and they fly these drones at over 100 miles per hour through a course and it's on a big jumbotron and everybody watches and it's pretty cool and they do it at night in the dark and these are all lit up with LEDs and it's pretty sweet. So now a lot of you are probably saying, hey, I don't fly FPV. Well, guess what? This simulator lets you fly arcade mode. You know, like when you go to the arcade, put your 50 cents in a game and play with one little controller or whatever. Very simple. I'll show you that coming up. It lets you also play GPS mode. Yes, if you have a GPS camera drone, anyone, a budget one or an expensive one like this, and you are very good at flying GPS drones, you can actually play the simulator because it's got a GPS mode. And you can go explore tons of sceneries and tons of areas in GPS mode. It's pretty cool. And I will show you that in my demo as well. But the whole intent of the game is to get you up to the pro level to fly FPV race quads like I have one here. This is one you see me fly it in the summer because it carries my little GoPro Hero 7 around. They want to get people up into the FPV world. And if you're really good, you compete against other people around the world. And as a matter of fact, you can actually compete against the champs who play in those live events in the big stadiums. And if you're showing up that you're really good, well, guess what? It's like a fantasy. You may actually end up on somebody's team in a big stadium and flying for real. Now you can play this on a PC or an Xbox or a PS4. As I mentioned here, I played it on the PS4, but I am not a gamer. I do not play games. I just happen to have a PS4 because it was left here from my kids. So, <laughs> so I use the PS4 and uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm not that bad. Here, check it out, watch me. All right, I'm sitting in front of my TV, which is over there. I have the DCL game. I have a camera here, which is recording that. And I have this camera recording me. So I'm gonna sit back here, take my PS4 controller right here. And this is how I'm gonna fly on this game. So I, let's check this out. What you see right now is the main menu. And I am just gonna scroll across the top and go to settings. And I'm gonna kill the sound because there might be some sort of copyright protection with sound and YouTube's gonna kill my video. So I'm gonna bring the sound down to about 53 and I'll do the same for the music because the music's pretty loud in the game. Now, if you take a look at the top left of my screen over here, you'll see I'm in the home section and you can see it says DCL draft selection below, freestyle Wednesday and tutorial. So if you're new to this game, check out the tutorial, but uh, hey, maybe my tutorial is gonna be better than the one on there, so here we go. Going across the top of the screen, we have the fly. This is where you can pick your events, your timed attack, your multiplayer, and free flight. Free flight's a lot of fun if you're just starting out. Next, we have customization. You need money for customization, and it's free money. Just do the time runs in arcade mode or something, you'll gain money. 
I only have $1,800, you can see in the top right, but uh, that's enough to buy me a few things. Next, we have profile. There's my avatar and me. Now I'm gonna click the right button here, go to settings again, and I'm gonna go into setup. This is where I was with the sound, but this time I'm gonna change the flight mode. So you can see here, I can go arcade, GPS, angle, and acro, and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So let's start off with arcade. We want to fly in arcade mode. It's the simplest. Go back home and I'm just gonna go to uh, fly now. There we go, it's loading arcade mode and it's gonna load a course for me, uh, one of the ones that I picked. So it's just going through various courses. Now I'm gonna show you arcade mode is the simplest and the easiest way to get money in this game. But it's not really what you want. You wanna get much better and fly in acro mode because that's the whole idea of a simulator. Although GPS mode is pretty cool. It's like flying your DJI drone in this thing. So uh, let's check this out. So you see the screen right here. I'm actually gonna fly against other people around the world. It's pretty simple race and uh, watch this. I, I'm not even gonna look at the screen, it's so easy. So I hit X to start and it says, get ready, go. And I'm just gonna take the right joystick and move it forward. As long as I stay along that line with my left joystick, it will take me through all the gates. There we go. And to turn, left joystick, left joystick, left joystick, turn and coming around, go over this hump, going down, make sure I'm through the hole in the gate. And look at this, I'm coming to the end. There's another guy in front of me and toing. So what did I get? I'm in eighth place. That is not very good. And if you wanted to watch that race from a spectator's point of view, take a look at the bottom of my screen. I can go over to spectate and there we go. Now we can see it from this angle and all those little lines are other people playing and I'm probably the last guy. There I am. I'm probably the guy at the back. You can see the little line going across. But hey, I'm keeping my line pretty good and going through. So you get better and better at this game as you play it more and more. And like anything, you can change your angles to see what you want to see. All right, I'm back in settings and I'm going to go from arcade mode to GPS mode, just like flying your GPS drone, like a DJI Mavic or a Phantom or an Autel Evo. Here we go. So I go in setup and you see it says arcade right now. Just click on that. I'm in GPS mode. That simple. All right, so let's go back to the race home. We want to go to fly now. So as you can see on my screen, it says I'm a GPS mode amateur. Now, as it's loading, just like you fly a normal GPS drone, your throttle's on the left, that's going to take you higher and lower. And that's your forward backwards. And also on the left is your yaw to spin around. I'll show you in a free flight some of these things, but we're going to do a race right now. I'm actually going to race against people playing in arcade mode and acro mode, and I'm in GPS mode. So I'm like grandpa. This is going to be funny. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. First thing we want to do, green light. I want to go up. There we go, up and then forward, just like a GPS drone. This is hilarious. Now, I have to bring it to the right height to get through that gate and the right angle. Let's see, going through, going through, going through, and whoa, made it. Got to get over the wall, so I got to go up, just like a GPS drone, forward. And I'll bring it down, coming down, and around that corner. Man, look at me, corner, so nice. All right, so same idea. Here we go. Now, if you're wondering, there's tons of different courses. I'm just playing the same course here to show you the different types of uh, modes you can be in. Look at this, I have to bring it away down. All right, this is the problem with GPS. All right, let's gun it to the end. Come on, come on, come on. GPS is fun when you go in free flight because it's like a GPS drone and I can fly all over this area. And there we go, everybody's home. I am in eighth place again. <laughs> At least I'm consistent. Okay, we're in settings again, and here we go. I'm gonna go into, you can go into angle mode. Now, if you don't know what angle mode is, angle is when you get into FPV drone flying and you're very, very new at it. Say this is your drone and you're in angle mode. Angle mode means that it's gonna stay kind of stabilized. They won't let you roll and do flips. It's gonna keep you, you know, not from flipping over and pretty straight, but you still have, you know, quite a bit of control. So I'm gonna go right into acro, which is what I normally fly. Now I have to warn you, if you watch anybody on YouTube flying this here game, this simulation with a PS controller, this is not the right controller for acro mode because this left joystick, it doesn't move very far and it doesn't fall down. So uh, yeah, so it takes a little bit of talent to get it going, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Here we go. All right, acro mode. And you notice on the screen, it says acro mode pro. So no newbie, no amateur, no beginner, it's pro. So I'm all in in this one. So here we go. This should be hilarious. All right, here we go. Throttle go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I've got, I got the hang of it now. I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm just gunning it here. Gotta get through the big M, get through the arches. There we go. Up, 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 follow that line. Follow these, oh, look at them on their tail. 
This is what happens when you're an FPV god. You can, whoa, get under that chair! <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> whoa, 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 where? Whoa! Here we go, here we go. Alright, get over these lines. I'm not taking that line down below. I gotta get through this hole. Oh, that was the end! And I'm still in eighth place! Even when I'm good, I suck! All right, so now along the top of the screen, I'm gonna go over, fly, this is your timed attack, what I was in, events, multiplayer flow, and free flight. I'm gonna go free flight. You see at the very top left, it says drone simulation, and it says I am flying the DCL-19. You can switch through those, so here we go. What do I have? I only have three right now because I'm pretty much a newbie, so I'll stick with that one. Next, we're gonna go down, and these are the easy tracks. You can go to intermediate tracks. There's all sorts. Hard tracks. I'm staying out of all those. I'll stay with easy. Let's go down. Uh, next, this one's not too bad. So these are all the tracks that I've unlocked so far. So I should still be in acro mode. Yeah, I'm in Acro Mode Pro, so uh, full manual control, and we're going to do a free flight. So using this controller, I'm going to fly around these oil fields in Acro Mode, and this is where it's a lot of fun. Here we are on the screen. I can take off any time, and if you look at the bottom, I forgot to mention this. You see where it says my speed, zero kilometers per hour, camera's at 50 degrees, but on either side, you see an X, and as I move these controls, you see on the right one? That's my joystick. I'm moving it around, and so you can sort of follow the way I am. Your left one's your throttle, so here we go. So I should be able to fly around things. I'm going to try to fly really smooth, like if I was really flying acro in real life. So this is how I normally fly. I fly nice and smooth. Going through things. I like to go in between objects, no matter what. Come up. Spin around. Oh, there's a road down here. I didn't even notice that. Oh, a train. All right, let's go see what's on this road down here. Ah, the road's just the outskirts. I don't want to, that's pretty boring. So let's, uh, let's try not to hit the train here. Let's go over it. Train's there. Let's come around, follow the train. There we go. I can go faster than the train. Let's come down nice and slow between all these stacks and stuff. So this game is designed so that you can fly in between almost anything. Over, under stuff, whatever you wish. Go through the warehouse, nice and fast here. And the train, whoa, miss you, miss you, whoa. So this just gets your skills up so that you become pretty darn good at flying FPV. I'm in full acro mode here, so this is exactly as I would fly outdoors if I was flying. And if you know anything about acro mode, you have things like air mode and whatnot. I don't think I have it enabled, let's see, because normally if I do a flip, there we go. Yeah, see, I come down to the ground nice and slow. It's pretty much like a beginner acro mode right now. There's a train going through. Can I follow it? This is going to be tight. Tight, 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 tight. Get out the out, 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 out. All right, let's get out of this and I'll show you more. Now, one thing that's really cool with the DCL is check out this. So I was in the timed attack. I've showed you the time attack, the free flight, uh, the events. Watch this. These events, it shows you right here, there's weekly national acro challenge. All these events, you can read them from top to bottom. And if you look to the right, it says when they will occur, two hours, two hours, 23 days, and they're available so you can register and enter them. The ones that are locked are not available at this time. And since it says national, that means you're going to be playing against a lot of people and the winner takes it all. And the last one on my screen is the multiplayer race flow. Now I can't access that because I do not have a PS4 membership. See if I go to easy watch what it says, it says, Hey, you have no privileges. You have to have a PS plus membership. Well, I don't have one because I just don't, I'm not a gamer, but, uh, I'm sure a lot of you out there who are watching this probably have that, so it's not an issue. Now, you don't need any membership or anything like that to play against other players. So if you look at my screen right now, I'm in timed attack and over on the right hand side, I can play against people around the world, the continent, my country and Canada, favorites, or you can play against your friends. All right, just for fun, since a lot of the audience loves GPS drones, so I'm going to put it back in GPS drones. So here we go. It's in GPS drone and I'm going to go back to fly and I am just going to do a free flight. There we go. Now, the good thing about GPS mode, unlike acro mode and arcade, is that since it flies like a GPS drone, you can stop and hover in the air, as I'm doing here, and uh, find little things. Like, look at this. There's a little hole in the castle. You get the wind blowing the grass down there. And I can come nice and slow to go explore. There's all these little uh, rabbit holes in all these areas. 
All right, so let's go through. Don't worry about the size of your drone. It just looks big because that's just a scale thing. Do I have headlights? Oh, it's lighting up the area. Going through. Nice, got through that rabbit hole. And uh, you can go through a lot of things because you're doing a GPS drone. Apparently, I don't need satellite reception. I can go up. There's a hole in the sky. There's a hole up here in the ceiling. I can go through that. Nice. Go forward. And there's a train. Go up. Missed the train. And finally, the last things to show you. Take a look at my screen right here. DCL draft selection. When you click that, it sort of is like you had a PC because it's going to show you all sorts of cool stuff that you would get when you go to the website. And Freestyle Wednesday is every Wednesday. You can join freestyle races. And then at the bottom, right in the center, it says zero days, two hours and 24 minutes and so many seconds until the weekly national arcade challenge. If I click that, it says you're not registered. So I'd have to go register, registered now, and then put in my email address and all the other good stuff right here. And that would take me to the first one on the list right at the top, which says it's going to start in two hours and I can join that. All right. So what do you think? Pretty cool. All right. So this brings me to the end of the video. And now I can tell you how to get your own copy of this and play it for free. All you have to do is send me an email at this email address below. And over the next 24 hours today, you're watching this on a Saturday, my time. On the Sunday, I will pick 11 of you and I will send 11 of you the actual keys. Now I need one important note from each of you in that you have to tell me what you're going to use it on. Do you want the code so you can play the game on a PC, an Xbox or a PS4? Because I only have so many codes for each uh, platform. So anyways, tell me that in your email. All the details of which I have to provide are below this video. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on the game itself, just post them below and I'll get back to you. But all the answers are right on the website that I'm going to post below. So go check it out. All right, catch you in the next video.